Now I gotta ride or die going on YouTube just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Lampadati Tigon which was released with the summertime DLC. Now this car looks pretty much like a supercar, pretty standard, I mean nothing too exciting, supercars don't really excite me in this game anymore so um, yeah you've seen one, you've seen them all pretty much, hopefully we get some nice customization with this which I highly doubt but we don't know any of that for sure until we get into LS Customs so let's get there now. So you go my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Lampadati Tigon is, like I said, in the supercar category. There was really no doubt about it, was there, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, now I've got it in LS Customs. Like I said, it's very generic, really, of a supercar in this game. They all, they're all starting to kind of look alike. Um, this does have a unique rear end, saying that. But other than that, the rest of the car looks just like every other supercar that's in this game. And nothing too exciting these supercars for me are just a big money grab something that rocks are chucking the game so people spend lots of money on them i suppose so that being said guys we're just going to crack on with this build and we're going to start as always with 100 percent body armor we're going to get the race brakes and then we're going to move to the bumper front bumper so it looks like the bumper is going to stay the same we're just going to get added canards then we get the splitters the downforce so we get different options for splitters basically they're all carbon fiber by the looks of it uh, the top option is the canards which are also carbon fiber by the looks of it uh, then anyway we'll move down to the splitters i think i will get a splitter just to sort of like mix this up a little bit so we've got a race splitter the downforce and the performance the arc was actually quite nice i like that one and then the gt splitter as well which is pretty awesome uh we'll go go gt splitter why the hell not rear bumpers they always say bumpers but what they really mean is rear diffuser. <laughs> they don't actually mean bumper. Uh, so here we go. We get to change the rear diffuser. And nothing too crazy. But it is nice to see that they are actually making a big cosmetic change. Which is unusual for a rear diffuser. Usually they all pretty much look the same. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised of how different all these uh, diffusers look. Nice. I'm not sure if I prefer them over the, the stock one, to be fair though. The stock diffuser actually looks really good. Um, the turbo diffuser, why the hell not, let's go with that. Then we're going to go to the engine and get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. As you can see, it's on the top. The stock exhaust actually looks really good. And then you're going to change them to all these aftermarket ones, which don't look as good. But then we move down to the split exhaust, which does look awesome. And then back to these ones, which kind of look weak in comparison to the stock exhaust to be fair um, and with the exception of the split exhaust that actually looks quite good um, so because I don't like any of the other options the split exhaust is different and I don't actually mind that one so let's go over it next we've got the lights obviously we're going to the headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights and the same as every other new car in this game we do get a livery option um, yeah it's just not a fan of them I just really don't think supercars suit liveries Obviously it's personal opinion and personal preference, but my taste, I just don't like anything like this. I think it looks messy, you know. Uh, but anyway, we've got the Jackal Racing, then we've got the Sprint, Flames, and then that's it. Um, so there are some nice designs in there, I suppose, uh, to be fair. There are some pretty cool designs, but uh, I just don't think they suit this type of car. So I am going to stay none for the livery. So then we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary color. We are going to get a metallic. And I think a yellow might look good on this. And yeah, race yellow actually looks really good. So I'm going to grab that. The ordinary yellow looks orange, funnily enough. But race yellow looks pretty awesome. So I'm going to go with that. And the secondary color also in metallic. Not sure what this is going to change. At the moment it is on black. Oh, there we go. It's the top part of the car. So we're we going to keep that black. Actually, we're just going to go yellow with that as well. Or race yellow, should I say. There we go. That looks pretty awesome. So next we get the option for a side skirt. We've got the race skirts. We've got the track. Sports. Uh, Arrow. And the GT Mark II. GT Mark II looks cool. Let's go over it. Spoiler options. Um, I don't think this car actually really suits a spoiler. It doesn't need one. It's got that aggressive supercar look. And I, I think a spoiler will ruin it, to be fair. That looks really odd. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. Um, that one looks a little bit t tidier. If you wanted to have 
you know a spoiler of that nature where it gives you a roof scoop as well but I think it looks better without a spoiler so I'm going to stay none Sunstrips man GTA and Rockstar have gone mad for the Sunstrips with these new cars um, don't think this car is actually going to suit a Sunstrip to be fair and you only get two options primary and secondary so we're going to stay none for that the suspension if we go competition it doesn't even really drop it that much so we are going to go competition suspension transmission we're going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning and then we're going to move on to the wheels the stock wheels for this actually look really awesome um, but we're going to have a quick look in the street category obviously and do them wheels look smaller or is the tyre profile just a little bit bigger so it's given the illusion of it being smaller I don't know now actually these aftermarket wheels make the wheels look smaller yeah the stock wheels are definitely bigger hate it when I do that man why do Rockstar just not match up the wheel sizes really doesn't make any sense so for that reason I'm just going to stay stock for the wheels because like I said these wheels look awesome anyway so then to finish off the build guys we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tints there we go my dudes there is my build on the brand new Tygon it, it looks awesome it does look awesome I can't take it away from them um, but it's just the thing with the supercars man they're, they're just sort of like starting to merge into you know one look they don't really look that much different from each other they're all starting to look alike and I'm not a massive fan of, of the supercars in the game anyway because um, I think they're just boring you know I'd, I'd much rather have a tuner in in the game or even like a cool compact like the uh, the the BF club that we had you know things that are a little bit more quirky you know a little bit more customization um, if this was a Benny's car then I'd be a little bit more excited about it but because it's not it's just a supercar not many customization options for it and it's just a fast looking car and obviously going to be a fast car as well um, the rear end of this is actually look really cool I do actually really dig the lights on the back of this car I think they look really smart uh, but other than that it just you know yeah it's just a supercar isn't it so obviously it's going to be fast but we will test it oh my god the sound of that engine is awesome this car sounds amazing it sounds like an F1 car wow yeah that's really cool man I love the sound of that but yeah it, like I said it does feel feel fast really fast actually don't know if it's going to be one of the top contenders in the game um, but it's definitely a supercar uh, tail happy as you can see but uh, just you know, bobbing and weaving left to right it does feel quite loose um, so I don't think the traction's all that great on it um, but yeah it's a quick car handling maybe not maybe not so great you know for a car that's going to cost you like 2.3 million dollars I think it was that's a lot of money man uh, that's a lot of money for for a boring car <laughs> but like I said someone's gonna love it uh, but it's just not for me but it is a it is a good car it's a cool car but I don't think I'll be wasting my money on it um, but yeah with that being said guys I hope you liked this one if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios